What's going on, everybody? I'm going to show you a game. It's called Two Bowls, One Dog. It's a fast, easy way you can feed your dog a wet or raw meal and work on training. We're doing stuff up until lesson three. So we're going to do some recall, some sit, some place, and some let's go commands. Let's see what happens here. I put some food in a small bowl. Sit. Good. I'm going to come and release him onto that food. Go play. He can go ahead and start eating. My job is to tell him, come back to the trampoline before he eats it all. Starting on zero. Come. No attempt. Ooh. Sit. Good. Go play. Now we can eat the rest of it. Nice. Now I'm going to go ahead and call him this other one. Starting on zero. Casper, let's go. Place. Sit. Good. Sit. I'm going to go ahead and replenish this bowl over here. Sit. Give him a little preemptive sit before I replenish. Good. Notice his attention. Nice. Now his impulse control in the beginning was to run over there. As soon as I'm over here, he would measure that distance and want to go over and eat it. Now I'm going to try and call him past that bowl onto the original trampoline. Let's see what happens. On zero. Casper, come. Please. Sit. Go play. Go boy. So we went past it and he gets some food. So this is what we in the pro industry call a indirect reward. I think. I don't know. I just know I don't want to get my hands dirty and stink like dog food right now. So I'm just feeding him out of the bowl. And I'm in a hurry. And I wanted to show you guys how cool Casper is. By the way, he is open for adoption. If you know anyone looking, he uh, just got here and he's looking for a good home. Casper, come. Place. Sit. Good. I'm going to go ahead and replenish his four straw. Place, 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 place. Doing the floor is lava, holding it on up 10. And then I let go there. Nice. Sit. As I was saying before, I'm going to replenish his horse trough. Sit. Notice I give him that preemptive sit before I lower the food. Sit. Just like a little kid or a new employee, I want to manage him in the beginning. And then down the road, I won't have to manage him as much. Now I'm going to put him in the loose walk. And I'm going to try and walk by the food without him eating the food. Let's see what happens. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Good. Got up to a 15. Let's go. Let's go. Good. Got up to a 20. Let's go. Good. Back to zero. Good. I'm going to try and walk by in the loose walk. Good. He could do whatever he wants in a circle. I feel safe. Good. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Good. Let's go. Let's go. Good. Got up to a 30. Back to zero. Good. Let's go. Let's go. Good. Back to zero. Nice. All right, let's walk by again. Good. Good. Let's go. Nice. Let's go. Good. I'm going to call him through it once. Let's go. Casper, come. And that come command is come to that very specific hula hoop. Sit. Sit. Sorry about the howling and the barking. Next door is a daycare. Those are untrained dogs. We don't talk to them. Sit. Good. I'm going to call him past that bowl to this new place. Casper, come. Place. Sit. Go play. And then he can eat the rest of the food. So again, it's just a cool way to feed the dogs without getting dirty. I also wanted to showcase Casper and his cool skills. And um, show you a couple drills you can do once you're doing some good up to that third lesson. All right, guys. That's all I got for today. We'll see you at the next one.